Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see the continuation of what we saw in the last week, which is covered call with Nifty Bs. In this, we are going to see in weekly options. Last week, we saw in monthly option. We are going to compare this with weekly option that we are going to see in this week today. So before getting into the video, please do subscribe to this channel. Also join our Telegram channel for instant updates. Also, please do like the video if you generally like it. Let's get into the video. So this slide is like almost same as we saw in the last week. I am not changing anything. So this is like a very conservative strategy as we know that covered call are usually conservative strategy because we'll be holding the underlying for long and so on. We'll be selling the short call option. So either way, you'll be getting a profit. So it is a conservative strategy. We need not worry more. So it's a main income. The main objective is to get rental income every week over week or month over month. In this we buy Nifty than individual stocks because of the volatility of the individual stocks. So Nifty B's unit, Nifty B's is a ETF that trades in the stock market. This is like one unit is equal to one hundredth of Nifty. So ideally, if you want uh, something to be equal to Nifty, then we need to buy hundred quantity of Nifty B's, and for that is one Nifty. But usually Nifty comes in a lot, which is fifty lot. Fifty is the lot size of Nifty. So we need to buy fifty into hundred, which is five thousand quantity. And uh, in this, we will be selling like uh, ATM call option every week over week at uh, ATM strike, and we'll be collecting the premium. And if it goes to, if market goes down, we'll, we'll be like ending in profit, or else we have to book loss, and we'll continue doing this, irrespective of whatever be be the profit or loss for the consecutive for last four years, which will be like how many weeks you can imagine, like fifty two weeks per year maybe, so fifty two into four almost. But this year it has not ended. So four months are pending, so you can calculate it like fifty-two into four minus sixteen or whatever. And manual testing for the last four years I have done, and again this is no adjustment, so it's very much suitable for working professionals and part-time traders. As in every video, we sell the call option at nine thirty a.m. of the previous expiry, and we close it on the same expiry nine thirty a.m. on the current week. Disclaimer: This is only for education purposes. Please do your own research before taking any trade. So, once I did that, I have come arrived at this summary. Like 2019, there was loss of 25,000. 2020 was a corona year. It's an outlier where we saw 91,000 loss. Last, uh, if we see in month over month, we saw somewhere around 2 lakh something loss in 2020 year. In 2021, again 36,000 loss and 2022, 8,000 profit. I came to this by doing this exhaustive research on, like January, how much was the profit? You see, you see, 30. It's 2022, 34 weeks. Still, we have a few weeks pending. 2021, as I said, 51 weeks. This is the most. 2020, again, 53 weeks. This happened to be a leap year, and that happened to be. Luckily, we had one extra day because. Again, December 31 was a Thursday. That was the reason. And it's usually 52 weeks will be what it is. Here we can see like only 45 weeks in 2019. The reason being the Nifty weekly uh, call option, weekly options were introduced only in the month of February. Of the third week of February, February 21 was the first uh, expiry for Nifty for week weekly options. So that is the reason you didn't see from Jan first week onwards. So here we are losing again seven weeks, and that is the reason you are seeing only forty five weeks. So with that you can get to know the what was the results for all these four weeks. So this took some time in building this as I was doing manually. With this I can see like the results of this is like a, I have given like absolute return. Last time I what I gave was like CAGR, which was little confusing. So I thought let me give absolute return than CAGR. So when you see absolute return, this is for the last four years. So this is not something to be so happy saying that 32 percent is a very good number. It's still a good number, but if if you consider like from 2019 you invested till today and it has given only 32 percent, I might not say it's a very good investment. So you can think about it for whatever you what is your like uh, criteria to define which is a good investment, how much percentage it should yield. That is totally up to you. So I don't uh, get into that, but what I want to compare is like this is absolute return weekly and this is absolute return monthly. You can see like weekly has performed well over monthly, twenty three to thirty two, ten to twenty four, twenty to twenty one, and this year only it's like one percent difference, which is like not yet over. So maybe this will catch up, 
This again, like two years, it was like only one percent. But again, we are in the upper side. So overall, what I can say is like uh, the weekly options were much better than monthly. But still, I am not overall satisfied with the results. I'll tell you uh, why I am not. But uh, I'll just kind of finish the slide. So we don't get, we didn't get uh, rental income in most of this. You can see, like out of the four years, three years, we didn't get like profit in this. Instead, if you were, like uh, uh, just kept this as for investment without doing anything, also you would have got a very good handsome returns. So I really don't know whether we should really continue doing this. If you are going to really continue doing this, then we have to do some adjustments. That if market rallies up more than maybe 200, 300 points, and the monthly option we saw like 500 points, but here it is as it is weekly. Say if you are selling like a call of say 15,000 call option, and if market goes to maybe 15,000, 200, 300, then we should sell 15,000 put or 1,500 put. So that will collect some premium out of put option also. Yeah, or else if market comes down again the c option is going to give us profit so maybe you can sell a put option with uh, maybe hedging so that even if it is on the downside you will be protected if so then maybe this overall return percentage can go up maybe to a few percentage up which again is totally up to you to consider whether it is a very good investment so again as in previous video i told like this is very conservative summary because we actually need not have 5,000 Nifty B, somewhere around 4,600 will be sufficient. But I have given us 5,000, so that uh, let's not take, uh, well, let's take it in a conservative approach. Also for CAGR, it's not CAGR, sorry, it's a, it's a return, absolute return. Absolute return calculation also I have taken like 2 lakhs additional capital. The reason only because like after buying Nifty Bs, we will be like, uh, having two lakhs two lakhs for we need it's not two lakhs we need maybe 1.5 lakhs to sell uh put a call option so and maybe if you're doing adjustment then with h maybe you need two, two lakhs extra so that also again i have given here and uh, if this video is a little confusing for you maybe you would not got the context properly in that case please uh, go visit my previous video which is on monthly so that you can compare it with weekly and you can get a better understanding on that so overall, as per as per my strategies, I am like not overall satisfied with this result. Maybe I will try doing some other things to get this return than doing this. It's totally up to you if you are like having some high uh, quantity of money, high capital, and if you want to deploy it in various diversified ways, then maybe yes, this is one of the way which which will never go to negative zone. So definitely this you can consider but if you are like a very normal retail trader and if you're looking for some better gains not i would not say a good gain or extraordinary gain then maybe this is not something for you is what i feel so if you are uh, if you want to have some other thing then maybe you can see some other videos in this channel maybe like pad trading or some other things which will giving you which might give you more better results so this is what i want to say in this video maybe we'll see with some other good thing in the next video until then bye thank you